what is up guys rgt85 here and today on the channel we're going to be taking a look at wasteland 2 for the nintendo switch now i did receive a review copy of this game and i was kind of interested to check it out because it looks like an old school fallout game but then i realized i never played the old school fallout games my fallout uh, introduction was pretty much in Fallout 3, so I wasn't really familiar with this style of game. Obviously, it's sort of an XCOM uh, squad-based game in a post-apocalyptic future. There's a nuclear fallout, you get some characters, and then you set out to do different missions within the wasteland. And I've been playing this game for a couple hours, and I am just not good at it at all. I am absolutely terrible at it. I, I, I'm just not good at it. But I did want to showcase it so you guys could sort of get some impressions on how the game is, what I think about the game, uh, so on and so forth. So right now we are in the middle of a mission. And basically, um, when you look at different things here, you can see that I have a lot of missions going on according to my logbook. So let's take a look at that right now. Uh, there's these are the ongoing missions that are going on this is the main mission that we get at the start of the game like I said I just haven't been able to accomplish much in this game so right now we're in this facility and we're trying to help these people out um, basically there's a, a nuclear thing going on right now there's mutations of different creatures there's mutations of people and we're trying to basically save this facility and uh, get these people up and running which is obviously a very bad idea because like I said um, we're, we're just not accomplishing much going on right now so right now like I said we're in the middle of a mission let's take a look at how the game is basically laid out so right now I have a squad of people with me um, these are my people this is pills uh, bear cold eye and Angela death and uh, Rose, who's also joining us right now. I had a sixth character, but they unfortunately passed away. And there is permadeath in this game. They say to save a lot in this game, and I completely agree with that because, yeah, you're going to die a lot, and uh, it can be a little bit annoying. So right now, um, a couple of my characters, Bear, Bear is not faring very well. So let's go ahead and um, heal Bear up a little bit and see if we can get bear up and running so all of your characters have different skills and when you start out the game you can either have it randomized or you can um, customize it I just went with random because it said it was better for uh, newcomers to the series there are multiple difficulty levels as well I chose the standard difficulty honestly I probably should have chosen the easy difficulty because like I said I am not well versed in this genre of game so basically right now we are about to start this little area here let's just take all the stuff that we can get as you can see the performance uh, the frame rate tends to chug at points um sometimes it's it's pretty smooth you know if you're just running with one person but when you get your whole squad involved it can get a little bit choppy so let's see what's going on here access this computer blah 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 so let's open up one of these, I guess. All right. So now we have a door open and we can explore a little bit more. Um, when you are going in between missions, it takes place in a different sort of aesthetic. It's like a top down thing where you're just dragging a cursor and um, you have to find like different water points in order to stay alive. But this is the main sort of, and there's also random interactions. Shit. I swear to God, all I do is die in this game. Get out of there, stupid. Oh, God. All right, just run. Get poisoned. Open. Can't open that. Great. We're dying. Shut up. All I do is die in this freaking game. Go, go, go. All right, so we're not going to go that way, I guess. I'll just enjoy the poison. I have... <laughs> I have uh, some things to sort of uh, get rid of the poison, some items, but it's like, I don't know. I, don't, I, I feel helpless in this game. And, like, I guess, I guess that's sort of like a motif of it. Like, you're supposed to feel helpless. But go, go, go. Open. All right, we're safe in here. Watch out for these little exploding things, because those will freaking kill you. I wasn't even... Oh, okay. It wasn't that, but... 
hurt me. All right, now we have some combat coming up here. Maybe. So let's let's engage. Oh no, he's not messing with me. Oh god, get away, get away. All right. Cool. We avoided that. Clumsy fingers, trench crush, the broken fibers, great. So I suck. And like I said, you, you have to use different characters at different times. The game has a very, very steep learning curve. Um, so one of these characters that I have, um, you can switch characters on the fly as well. And so that's, oh, okay. Never mind. We're, we're now in battle. So here's the battle system. I like the battle system, honestly. I think it's, it's pretty cool. Turn-based battle, sort of like an action RPG. Um, and, okay, so one of my characters lost control, and now she's just going rogue. Uh, this fly is spitting on me. I swear, I am just not good at this game. But, you know, the game did get very high reviews on the PC and stuff like that when it originally released. I know it's released on PS4, Xbox One as well. Um, I'm pretty sure it was a free game on Xbox One for a little while. Um, let's see here. So you have an AP system, action points. Basically, um, you know, different action points will you use up your action points. You can see, though, it's a little bit choppy on the Switch. Like, I feel like the performance could have been better. And I'm not sure if that's universal, you know, across all platforms where there's some instances of choppiness and things like that. But... And that's another thing that pisses me off about this game. Um, you can have like 80% chance to hit the enemy and you won't hit the enemy. Like I've never seen, and I understand, you know, there's there, yes, there is a 20% chance that I won't hit the enemy, but it just seems like it happens all the freaking time. Like, of course here, I hit him with a 47% and kill him. All right. So, all right, Rose is going rogue now. Thanks, thanks Rose. <laughs> Just, yeah, just just run up, run up there. That's a good idea because there's not three enemies there. I think if I was, you know, familiar with this genre, that I would enjoy this game more. But for me, it's just not a game that I would normally play. But it's a it's a game that I would like. It's a genre I would like to get into. It's a style of game that I think I would like to explore. But it's just very tough. And the steep learning curve, like I said, you know, I've been playing this game for like three hours. And literally all I ever do is just die and like load a save point and have a 65% chance of hitting. And miss twice. Come on, man. Come on. Like, that's ridiculous. Now I'm getting angry. <laughs> oh, man. Like 65%? I should have hit him at least once. God. Come on. Take out this. All right. All right. Now we're doing okay. We're almost all dead, of course, but now we're doing okay. So we have to reload. And there's different types of, of weapons, too, which is kind of cool. So, like, there's like a... Like, this has, like, a cone. So, if there was someone in that range, there would be friendly fire. But, luckily, there's there's no one in that, in that range. I want to like the game. I really do. Like, I think, I think the premise is really cool. Um, I think the, the combat system is pretty fun when it decides to let you hit them. Um, but it's just, I don't know. There's something about it that's just holding me back and I guess it's just the fact that I'm not super familiar with this style of game um, I really just wanted to show off sort of the performance of the game you can see that yes it, it gets you know it's not the smoothest game in the world I'm not sure if that's indicative of how it is on all platforms and things like that there's a lot to do in the game there's a lot of customization there's a lot of things going on and that sort of plays into the, the learning curve of the game but I think at its foundation, it's it's a really interesting game, you know. I just don't know if it's a game for everyone because it's just it's it's very tough, very tough. I want to learn it, but I want to learn it. Hopefully, we can um, 
we can maybe complete this battle and not look like an absolute scrub. All right. So we gained some XP there, which helps us level up and things of that nature. So that's cool. And you can see that there's a constant journal that happens on the bottom right hand corner of the screen as well. Let's collect some things here. Too bad they smell like poop. Examine. All right, what's going on here? Oh God. See, there's, li there's little things like that that, that keep, like, it's so, it, like, stuff like that is interesting to me. Like, this person just, just stuck in these vines. Like, how did this happen? How do I get them out? Oh, Jesus. Well, he's dead. Oh, my God. Oh, God. All right. Well. That researcher, um, maybe, maybe I was supposed to save him and I just, I just did a terrible job, but yeah, so this is a quick look at Wasteland, a very deep, a very interesting game, a game that I am just not good at, but maybe I'll keep playing it because, you know, I, where we keep our failed experiments. thank you, Rose, Some maybe I'll keep playing it though, because, you know, it's, it, it's interesting and I like interesting sort of games, but I just I just want to not suck at it So if you have any tips for me for wasteland 2, let me know in the comment section down below And thank you guys for checking out this video Let me know if you've played this game on other platforms and if so what you think of it And as always if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next video later